Hi everyone, it's been a very long day today, so uh, let's get into it. Hi everybody, um, I want to do something a little bit different this time. Um, I don't know if any of you, well you probably have a lot of you seen this, this one which is going out to a customer soon, it was a blade I made from Damascus or Forge Weld, Weld or Steel, whatever you want to call it. And that was only 12 layer, but it came out really well. Um, and I was quite pleased with that. But I thought I'd do something different. So I've got two blocks here, which are 12, you know, 12 layers each. So I'm going to give them a clean up. We're going to bang that baby together. So that'll be 24 layers. I might stretch it and do it again. I don't know how it goes. And then I'm going to try something different. So we're going to do raindrop. Is it raindrop? Yeah, raindrop Damascus. Um, so I hope you enjoy the video. I'll try and make it interesting. And hi to all my new subscribers. See you soon. welding so there we are we've now got 24 layers of Damascus or forge welder still that way so I'll now stretch it out this way and then we may fold it again um, for those that you haven't seen it before this is my forge press I made um, so basically it's a log splitter but I've modified that so that I can use it for forging so I've got two dies in here as you can see I've got my flat dies so that's for obviously helping with forge welding and stuff. And then I've got my rain dies there to use in. And it works really well. Bit of a bod, but hey, right, let's get forging. the other side and it will straighten up and we'll just stretch it out now As you can see, we've I've annealed this, left it in the forge to cool down nicely overnight. We've now got 24 layers there now of Damascus. Now the problem I've got is I don't think I'm going to have enough to double it, do what I want to do to it. I'm, I'm a bit scared if I'm honest. Right everyone, you probably guessed it, I couldn't resist it. <laughs> We're going to go for it. So I've got my two pieces here which we'll put together and that will give us 48 layers but you can see how much steel we've lost in the in the whole kind of process of it you know so they'll go together and then what I'm going to do stretch this out I don't know this, I've never done this before to a reasonable thickness I'll then anneal it we'll then drill loads of holes both sides squish it all back together and then hopefully we should have something like a you know like a raindrop Damascus but we will see let's crack on Right, so there we go. I've used 
lots of different drill bits from like 10 mil down to three literally just trying to make it random so you know i don't know if i've gone deep enough or too deep i haven't got a clue um but we shall see you can see it you know it's it's welded pretty well but there's something i don't know weird about actually drilling holes in something that you've just bloody made but there we are next stage then back into the forge squish it all down and see what we got right everybody um as you can see i've now mounted the damascus block to my bar again we're now heating up the forge let that get up temperature for about 10 minutes and then the idea never done it before is to squish this out so that you're squishing these patterns into the steel and then we'll have a look and see where it goes but um keep watching guys look it's uh, it's working we're slowly getting them flattened low right so I've um, pretty much flattened that out so I think what I'm going to try and do is maybe just try and use these to stretch it a bit I don't want to do it too much because I'm assuming you'd end up losing the the, um, the actual pattern too much but I need the billet to be a bit thinner so let's give it a go really when you're making this kind of stuff but anyway there's a rough billet I've done as you can see and this is a raindrop now I don't know about you but I'm itching of a look it's only a rough 180 finish but why don't you give this a clean up and just have a sneaky dip what do you reckon come on then right so just gonna give this a clean some acetone remove any oils or anything like that that was on there let's like say we're only gonna do a a sneaky peek really all right so here we go only gonna go dip <sighs> ready Ooh. we'll give it about 10 seconds i think and we'll have a look don't know about you but i'm pretty nervous <laughs> done a lot of work in this probably two days nearly for me oh i can see something coming out oh we can see something coming out Have a look, shall we? Ready? Oh, no, give it a few more seconds. Let's give that a clean a sec. But, oh my goodness. Can you see the pattern? If you can see it, can you really? Let me give it a clean now. But, oh my god, that's going to be nice. I don't know if you can see that there, can you? Let's try and dip it a little bit more. Every steel reacts differently to the ferric. And um, the biggest, is a tip for you. Um, I was using it neat to start with, and it's really the wrong thing to do. Um, I'm now using about a two to one mix with water. You can use distilled water if you wanted to, but it works fine like this. And it just etches a lot cleaner and a lot better. Now normally what I'd do after this, I'd probably leave this in here for about 10 minutes. I'd check it, see if I was happy with the depth of it. If not, I'd clean it. Um, you can use like window lean or something which is, uh, or baking soda, which are yeah, anything basically alkaline to neutralize the, uh, the acid. Um, once you've done that, just 
keep checking it until you're happy with the, the finish. Oh my goodness, we're getting there now. Look at that, guys, girls. Oh, I'm pretty chuffed with that. Oh my goodness, look at it. What's it like the other side? Wow, look at that. Is it raindrop? Uh, Spitting. No, it's, yeah, it's raindrops there, isn't there? Look at that. I'm pretty chuffed with that. Now, the reason obviously it's not as raindroppy as I thought it would be is probably because I squished it too much. You know, I lengthened it, but wow, I am well chuffed with that. Anyway, next thing is, what do we do with it? What do we make out of this? You know, I could make an X and have a bit left over, which I could do a little bit of something with, or do we make something different? Let me know what you think in the comments, guys. I'd be really interested. And thanks for joining me. Please hit the like button, the dingy ding 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 bell thing, and subscribe if you want. And, um, I'll see you in part two. Bye.